What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the aim offset so we can aim better with the rifle. It is going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the animation blueprint. So let's go to characters, animations, and let's open up the AVP character. And on here what we need to do is basically on the uh, event graph so let's you know close all the other tabs that we don't need let's go to the event graph and on here we need to basically get where the character is looking right so the first thing i want to do is create a new variable okay so let's add a new variable and this will be something as aim rotation right and this aim rotation will be you know where kind of uh, the um, character needs to aim to so let's to set the type to be a rotator okay because it will be a rotation and then let's drag it and set it and then let's add a new pin in the sequence and plug it in here so in the update in every frame it will do all this and we have it all organized in different pins so now in here what we need to do is basically um get the character's rotation so to do this what we can do is get our existing player character blueprint right we can get it and then say get actor rotation and then what we need to do is also get the control rotation, okay? Which is gonna be kind of the of the pawn itself. And then what we want to do is get this and do a delta rotator, as you can see, okay? And now we can basically normalize it. So we can just plug A and B on here and then right click and split it, right click and split it. Because we want each individual um, axis. And why do we want this? Well, the thing is that the Z will need to be inverted. How do we do this? We just by times in it by one, uh, because if not, it will go to other side and it will look bad. So we need to invert this, okay? By just multiplying by minus one. And then we're gonna change a bit of the axis. Basically the Y, the pitch, okay? Will go to the X row in this rotator. And then the X row on the Delta rotator and on the Y pitch on the Aim rotation can remain empty because we are not interested on that. We are kind of, you know, switching those two axes over there. And with that said, we should have that variable good to go. This is what we have to set our bones to uh, kind of look at, okay? Now, uh, in the first episode, we did this via the, um, as you can see, the control rig, okay? So if we go to locomotion, you can see that we have this uh, control rig head look. In this case, we are going to only add it on some states. So what we can do is just directly implement some nodes in the name graph. So let's go to the name graph. I'm gonna go into the rifle locomotion because of course this will apply only for the rifle locomotion when we are aiming and so on. And let's go to the aiming state. And now we have, you know, our layered blend for bone. So it will split the body in two. At the bottom part, we will have the rifle blend space so we can, you know, walk, jog and be an idol. And then on the top part of the body, on the upper part, we will have the idle rifle aiming in a loop. So let's just go ahead and get this, drag it a bit to the left, and now we're going to just right click, okay? And what we want to do is change the transform of a bone. So we can say transform uh, modify bone, and then go ahead and you know select the bone with the selected. So we can go in bone to modify, and this is going to be something as spine two okay it can be spine one two three four in this case last episode well not last episode the first episode okay uh we kind of were playing around with spine four and five i think it was really five with the neck and the head in this case we want pretty much all of the torso because well uh, it will properly aim with all the hands and so on so the more below we can go the better it's gonna go so with that said now we just need to change the rotation mode from me to ignore to replace uh sorry to add to existing okay so it will go ahead and be you know setting the correct rotation for the bone and then what we want to do is just get the aim rotation plug that to rotation and then the translation and scale we can leave it as it is we don't want to touch that and now what i am going to do is just plug the component post here it will add a local to component node because well we're accessing uh basically a specific bone so it will you know require this and it will add it um automatically and now this should be all set up so if i now press play as you can see equip this and aim boom now i can see 
I'm aiming, you know, up and down, and my hands are going up and down, and it's looking pretty cool. Now, you want to play with the spine, so maybe you can put it up in spine 01, and as you can see, the blend is happening uh, lower in the body, maybe it looks a bit nicer, but you can play with that. As you can see, it, it feels very nice. Uh, now, another thing that we need to do is make sure that this cannot happen when we are, you know, aiming and we are going backwards. But before I do all that, let's also apply this two nodes. So let's copy the aim rotation and the transform bone node and copy it. And let's go to the other states because also we want to go ahead and look up and down if we are, you know, in our rifle, not aiming, but also kind of idle because we can uh, uh, still shoot, right? And we want to shoot up and down. And of course, our head and a bit of the elbows move, but not the whole torso. So we're gonna go into the idle, um, you know, state, paste this, and connect this, okay? Just as we did with the aim state. All right. So let's just plug this in here. Compile, save, go back, and then also for the walk and jog, do exactly the same thing. So now we can go ahead and also have our aim offset, so aim up or down, when we are not specifically holding the right mouse button, so we can still shoot up and down. So now when I get my rifle, you can see I can now look up and down, and it is what we want, and when I aim, it properly happens. So now what we want to do is change the locomotion style when we are basically aiming to be, you know, on strafe, because if not, this will happen, because right now our character is uh, oriented to the direction that we're moving and we don't want this if we are aiming okay because you know these things will happen so for this let's go to the player blueprint and you can see here we have the aiming uh, kind of blueprints and code so what I want to do right now is go into the right section of this comment and create a new custom event and this will set the strafe movement okay and this, you know, will just be called when we aim, and then we will have another custom event, which will be um, just set free <coughs> movement. And then this will basically, you know, call it when we stop aiming, and we can uh, go back to the direction that we're going. So this is all controlled in the character movement component. If we go down, you can see here. Uh, I think it's uh, what is it? What is it? I think it's um compacted uh where did it go here oh there we go uh rotation settings as you can see right now by default it is set as orient rotation to movement so we're going backwards our character will face backwards so what we want to do is when aiming set use control the side rotation so we will be facing the direction that the control is facing so we just need to do a quick conversion so first of all let's set the strafe movement so let's get the character uh, movement component and set the orient rotation to movement variable to be false because now we don't want to face the direction that we're going and then we're gonna set the desired okay rotation to be true because now we do want to be facing the direction that the you know uh, pawn is facing and with that said we can just copy and paste this Okay, on here into the set free movement, I use inverses. So we will tick orient rotation to movement and on tick uh, the side rotation. And now with that said, we can just go and right after we set our booleans, we can just call the set strafe movement when we start aiming and then set free movement when we, you know, stop aiming. And now with that said, we can just expand the comment and just also expand it in this part so we'll get of our custom events right and then just kind of move this around in place and then put this one here expand a bit more the comment and move this like that so there we go so now you would notice that when we press play and we equip the rifle uh you know this still happens when we are mm, not aiming but i look into that in a second but if we are aiming as you can see now it is fixed our character will not kind of go backwards and it will kind of split in two right and this is you know going perfectly um, but of course if we stop aiming this happens what happened well basically um the the, the strafe uh lo locomotion the aiming is still happening when we have the rifle right because we have the rifle and we're aiming and this is happening so what we're going to do right now for this 
is basically go to the um also this probably will happen in idols you can see right so we're gonna go into the um idol and for now we are going to disable this so we'll look into it but for now let's enter into the aiming and let's also do it for the walk jog i basically just add it so we can see and how this impacts um, the components and everything right but let's now disable it because we will not need it anymore for now okay and another thing i want to do is change the aiming uh, alpha to be around 0.7 so it will not be so kind of um you know strong like that now as you can see this will work but when we aim it is properly facing where we want to move and we're going to shoot now there's a quick thing that i want to do and it's basically add a crosshair at the middle of the screen because if not we cannot you know kind of aim properly so let's go and create a new folder which will be called ui and you know as the series go in here we will be adding all of our uis and user interfaces and widgets and so on in this case we want to uh, kind of create a generic hud widget which we will add you know the uh, crosshair that we will do right now and in future episodes at uh, the health bar and so on so let's right click use interface new widget blueprint and it will be a common user widget and let's call this wb as you know widget blueprint underscore hud and now we can open up this new blueprint and now as you can see what we need is to add a canvas panel to the screen so now we can start to place things in this case what we want to place is an image so let's drag it and now let's set the anchor to be at the center because we want it to be right at the center of the screen to be able to aim correctly and then because we anchored it at the center we can simply set the position x and y to be at zero zero and then because this is at the corner we can add an alignment of 0.5 and 0.5 to add an offset so it'll be probably at the center and now we can just change the size x to be 40 as well so it'll be a square and then in the brush settings we can just apply an image now in this case we'll just apply this anchor temporarily um, and then we can just go ahead and you know aim and now of course we still don't see our um widget and that's because we need to go to the player blueprint and go ahead and create it so right as the be the begin play happens right the game starts we're gonna go ahead and just create a new widget and now we can select what widget what class we want to create in this case it will be wb underscore hud and then what we can do is just add it to the viewport so it will be in the player screen and now as you can see when i press play we have this anchor at the center and we can aim now you may notice that you know we don't have a lot of space our camera should move a bit to the right so that's what we're going to do add another offset a bit to the right when we aim so for this we did a very similar thing on the aiming timeline right we added a lerp on the uh, z-axis so as you can see it kind of goes a bit up you notice it goes up uh, we're gonna do the same but going right so for this let's just copy this lerp node paste it and then plug in the alpha to be in here because well it's gonna be uh, you know the same alpha right of the timeline and then we're gonna transition from in this case we already have some socket offset which is 25 i'm gonna go all the way to 50. so it will move this camera from 25 to 50 and then we're gonna move to the right as you can see so we'll do this for the timeline as we did in one of the previous episodes and then we can just plug this to the uh socket offset y and leave this unpinned and now as you can see when i click play it is normal but when i aim boom the camera also goes a bit to the right which is what we want right and we can aim a bit better now there's a few things and it is that we cannot really see the rifle is like not aiming correctly to the center of the screen so we have to kind of edit a bit the animation kind of rotate a bit to the right so let's go to characters animations rifle and enter in the idle rifle aiming animation and then this let's go to the beginning of the timeline and let's go and position ourselves kind of where the camera is right and let's select spine 01 and set this as uh, this globe icon so we'll be in the world um transform and we can you know uh kind of rotate it in this proper axis you see with that said we want to make sure that we have a you know and uh, how do we say them um, a grid of uh rotation five a snapping okay and now we're gonna go ahead and just you know with this pause and this is the start we can just rotate it boom boom 10 degrees to the right and if we now click 
this key button we can kind of add a keyframe as you can see and now as you can see our weapon will be more aiming to the right and we can see it a bit properly maybe you can even do it a bit more but in my case i think that this looks pretty good uh well maybe we can do it a bit more right we can add maybe another five right and another keyframe press play and as you can see now we even see a bit more but i personally think that that's a bit too much so we can kind of set it another minus five add a key and then i'm gonna change the snapping to be nothing and just add a tiny bit okay just a tiny bit and now you can see that well this is aiming correctly now kind of the the rifle is kind of aiming towards the the crosshair right not exactly but kind of now if i go and shoot you will notice that kind of the bullets do not really go to the center of the screen where we have the crosshair right if i go and show this by in the line trace putting this for duration and for a duration of 0.1 seconds so it could be kind of very quick and we can preview the line trace you can see that it kind of goes to the crosshair but not exactly right it doesn't really go to the center of the screen so it will be like very hard to eliminate an enemy right so what we're going to do instead is basically change the line trace to go into the direction of the center on the screen uh, instead of going uh, in the direction of where the mouse flash is aiming okay so to do this what we're going to do is get the camera and just get the uh, rotation in this case the world rotation and plug that into the forward vector and now with that said it will go towards the center of the screen because we're getting the camera forward axis and boom now it actually goes more into where it should be but still when we're very close you know because the starting point is from the muscle flash it doesn't reach the crosshair so what we're going to do instead is go and once again get the camera okay and get the weld location and then spawn this on here so let's plug it to the start point and to this uh, first pin on the addition node and now if we go you can see that it will appear exactly where we need because it's actually going ahead and you know shooting okay i cannot really see the line trace but it is basically appearing where the camera right now is and just going into the center of the screen it isn't really now uh how we initially set it up where it came from the actual rifle but it doesn't matter because in this case we are not making a multiplayer game so we are not really um you know uh have a higher priority on where the line trace really starts uh this is more single player oriented so we can do little tricks and we will actually be more accurate in the sense of uh aiming because it will exactly go where the crosshair is which is a top priority for the player and of course the player would not know because of the muscle flash and sounds and everything will come from the muscle flash itself so it will make the illusion that the line trace is coming from the rifle but actually is just going to the center of the screen and with that said we can literally delete these two nodes and just you know put this a bit up and there we go we have it all organized and looking nice so now as you can see we can probably go ahead and aim whenever we want and actually shoot whenever we you know kind of need and what we want so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that you have access to the private files through patreon or youtube members join my discord server check out my new course with game Dev tv on how to make a stealth game in unreal um follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye Thank you.